Okay, so we are going to draw the multi-part cube today. Uh, this is basically kind of a, a variation of what we did the other day, except for this one is going to use multiple parts for all the different walls. And it's just to show you how to put different parts together. So we're gonna start with a top view here, and we're going to draw a sketch on the top plane. I'm gonna make the top plane disappear, P for plane to toggle those off. Uh, just because I don't like the clutter. We're going to come up here on the left and grab our center point rectangle. Make sure you anchor it to the point of origin and drag out a squarish shape. We're going to go to the dimension tool. We're going to grab the right wall, dimension that at six inches, six enter. Then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom and um, let's see, I need to zoom out a little bit there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Grab that, make that six, enter. And we are done with our first sketch. So green check to complete it. And we're going to go to extrude up here on the left by sketch. Um, we are going to click on the sketch surface that we just did. Uh, whole thing. We're going to make this half an inch. So we're going to go 0.5 and green check. Then um, if you look at it, rotate it a little bit, you're going to have a little square there that's half an inch thick. So once again, we're going to go to a top view. We're going to do another sketch. This one is going to be on the face of extrude one. So click anywhere on the extrusion you just made. And we're going to go to corner rectangles this time. So you're going to need to use the drop down again, grab corner rectangle, anchor it to the top left point, and then drag it down until the bottom edge lights up. And we're going to click there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side as well anchor it to one of the corners and then drag down to that bottom edge lights up and drop the rectangle there. We're going to go with our dimension tool again and we're going to click up in that top edge. Click again, make that whoops, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so half an inch wide. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well, 0 0.5. Five. Now, I suppose you could use the equal tool if you wanted to for the other side to make it equal to the first. Um, but this time I just dimension them both green check because we are done. We're going to go up to an extrusion again, extrusion again, and we're going to extrude these two surfaces that we just made. So we're going to click the first one, click the second one, and this time we're going to make it five inches because our square is going to be six inches overall. Our top and bottom are half inch, so that leaves five. Six minus 0.5 minus 0.5 is five. So green check, and oops, I made a mistake. You see how if I rotate this around, it looks like it is all one solid piece. We want it to be three different colors. So we're gonna go back into extrude two, double click on that. Um, if I thought to do this originally, we wouldn't have to come back and do this, but uh, it defaulted to add, which means it's just adding to the part you had already. We want it to be new parts. So we're gonna go new, click new right there and then green check and it will have fixed it. So now you see I have three different colors. If I rotate it around this way and uh, we're looking at it, you can see that they are um, separate parts. All right, we're gonna go to a top view again, sketch. Once again, you're sketching on the face of extrude one. So we're gonna click down here and we're gonna go corner rectangle again. And we're gonna anchor it to the point where one of our walls meets the top edge and we're gonna drag it across and anchor it to the side of the other wall on the opposite side of where we started that uh, rectangle. Then we're gonna go to our dimension tool again. We're going to grab that edge and we're gonna make it 0.5, enter and green check. Now we're gonna go extrude again. Um, we're gonna extrude that surface, make sure that it still says new, um, five inches, so we're gonna go five green check. And so now we should have a three-sided box. Okay. Top view again, we are going to practice mirroring now. So this low wall that we just built, we're going to mirror it. And so we're going to come up here to our mirror tool, which is these kind of two 3D L looking things that are facing each other. So we click on that entities to mirror. Remember entities, just anything you've drawn, any part of your sketch. So we're going to grab this wall that we just made, click on that mirror plane. You can see it's now red. We're going to click on that. We have to select a plane to mirror it on. So here are our default planes over here on the uh, left menu. 
And you can see as I uh, hover over them, they light up. And obviously we don't wanna mirror the right plane. Uh, so if you drew it in the same orientation as me, you're going to mirror the front plane. So we're gonna click front and now our other wall appears so we can go green check we're done with that so now we have a box with a bottom and four sides but we need a top still so we're going to go top view again another sketch and uh, we're going to draw on the top of any one of these walls that we have extruded it doesn't matter which one but just because i like to go left to right i'm going to start here on the left wall which is the face of extrude two okay now we're going to go with a corner rectangle and we're gonna light up the top right corner and we're gonna drag that rectangle down to the bottom left corner. Actually, I said that backwards, top left, bottom right, but it really doesn't matter as long as you're taking one point and uh, the opposite point is diagonally across from it uh, that you're drawing your square. And so now that that is done, you can tell it's there because you've got slightly thicker black line on the outline and these dots in your corners. So we're gonna go with a green check. Now we're going to do extrude again, okay? And so there's two ways we could do this. Since we have no holes in this, uh, we could just go up and click sketch four in the menu uh, to select that. However, you should be able to get in the habit of clicking the different areas that you've extruded. So for example, if we were doing the base plate that we drew originally, we couldn't go sketch four and just click it in the menu because then it would fill in the holes as well. So we're gonna click here. And then if you notice, we roll it up to the side, you can see it didn't take this little area that's over that wall that we anchored it to originally. So we're gonna to have to click there as well. And we're gonna once again, make this half an inch. So go 0.5 and uh, green check. And now you have yourself the multi-part cube um, that should be six inches in all directions and have a total of six parts. Okay, for sketches, for extrusions. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a message. Thanks for watching and good luck.